HTML tag syntax with an example. Doc type HTML tag Head tag Title tag Body tag Headings tag Paragraph tags HTML document structure explained with HTML head and body tags assignment. Hello and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we learned about different versions of HTML. In this lecture, we're going to learn about the basic tags of HTML. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First, let's understand what basic HTML tags are. There are a range of HTML tags that help in designing a web page. These HTML tags are like keywords, which define how a web browser will format and display the content. With the help of these tags, a web browser can distinguish between an HTML content and a simple text content. HTML tags contain three main parts. Opening tag, content inside the tag, and closing tag. Apart from this, there are a few HTML tags that are unclosed tags, which mean you don't need a closing tag. But let's get back to our basic tags and tags. Tag content area tag. An example would be P. This is a simple paragraph P. Here P is an HTML tag that stands for paragraph. You can see closing and ending tags and text content between opening and closing P tags. Now here's an interesting fact. We can use as many tags as we want in our HTML document. But one thing we need to keep in mind is that all HTML tags must be enclosed within these brackets, also called angle brackets. You will be using them a lot. Now, every tag in HTML performs different tasks. Look at the various basic tags. But before that, we'll create a file in VS Code and name it as basic tags.html. The first tag is doc type tag. The doc type tag is used to specify the version of HTML used in the document. This is referred to as the document type declaration or DTD. The doc type declaration is an instruction to the web browser about what version of HTML the page is written in. It ensures that the web page is parsed the same way by different web browsers. Doctype doesn't have a closing tag. Before starting any HTML document, we must always start with document type declaration. That is doc type HTML. Now, here's an example of doc type tag. In modern browsers that support HTML5, almost 95% of all browsers today support HTML file. So this simple doc type with HTML as doc type tag attribute will work. Attribute is a new technical word and it means property of something. Just a warning, don't confuse attribute with content. Attribute in property of tag and the content is between opening and closing of the tag. For example, hello world is a content since it's enclosed inside P tags. Now let's save this file and see the output. Here we go. We can see hello world on the screen, which is written in the paragraph tag. Now coming to the second tag, that is HTML tag. The HTML tag represents the root of an HTML document. The HTML tag is the container for all other HTML elements, except for the doc type tag. Now, here is an example of HTML tag. If you notice here, I've included language attributes in the HTML tag. 
It is used to declare the languages of the web page. Let's save this file and see the output. Great! We have an output on the screen. Isn't it cool? Next tag is head tag. The head tag in HTML is used to define the head portion of the document which contains information related to the document. We can make use of different headings. In HTML, there are six levels of headings which can be used for the elements. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. Whenever we display any heading, the browser adds one line before and one line after that heading. Here's an example. Save this file again and we have an output on the screen where we can see the different types of headings shown in the output. Now moving on to the next tag. The title tag defines the title of the document. The title must be text only and it is shown in the browser's title bar or in the pages tab. The contents of a page title is very important for search engine optimization. The page title is used by search engine algorithms to decide the order when listing pages in search results. Now the title element. It defines a title in the browser toolbar which provides a title for the page when it is added to favorites. Displays a title for the page in search engine results. Here's an example of title tag. Save this file again and we have an output on the screen. Here our title of the web page is different headings. Note, the title tag is required in HTML documents. Then we have a body tag. The body tag defines the document's body. The body element contains all the contents of an HTML document such as heading, paragraphs, images, hyperlinks, tables, lists, etc. So here is an example of title tag. After saving this file, we can see the output of the body tag. And now we have a P tag. HTML paragraph or HTML P tag is used to define a paragraph in a web page. An HTML P tag indicates the starting of a new paragraph. Here is an example. After saving this file, we can see the output of the paragraph tag. Now we have a BR tag. Whenever we use the BR element, anything following it starts from the next line. This tag is an example of an empty element where you do not need opening and closing tags as there is nothing to go in between them. The BR tag has a space between the characters BR and the forward slash. If you omit this space, older browsers will have trouble rendering the line break. While if you miss the forward slash character and just use BR, it is not valid in XHTML. Here's an example of VR tag. Now save this file and we can see the output. A single line is divided into multiple lines. So here's the assignment. Can you make a web page that outputs the following content? Hint, there are three headings and two paragraphs. The title of the page should be chapter one, down the rabbit hole. You can download the solution from the resources Alice in Wonderland. Section 1, Chapter 1 Down the Rabbit Hole Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no picture or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book? thought Alice, without pictures or conversations. So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, 
for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid. Whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies? When suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. So this is it. Looking forward to meeting you in the next lecture. Till then stay tuned and keep learning.